I usually never record videos about other people's computers, uh, but this one has to serve this video. So this is my friend's new netbook, and he will send me a text message and said I cannot use it because I can't get into the operating system. So I thought, well, yes, uh, just reinstalling it will do fine. And he just gave me that and said, fix it. I didn't really look, you know, very much at it uh, <laughs> first. And if it's closed, it doesn't even look that bad or crap. But when you open it up, there you go. I thought, oh my god, no. I've never ever come across one of those. These are these Chinese no-name uh, laptops or netbooks that will run Windows CE. And again, I've never come across uh, such a device, ever. Uh, and I've, I've fixed up a lot of computers and reinstalled a lot of operating systems and you know, I've got absolutely no experience with Windows CE and ARM processors. So, <laughs> I looked at this and well said, oh my god, but what's wrong with it? Well, I'll just start it up. Um, so let's just say it's called Smart Book, but I can't really figure out any kind of uh, brand name. So it's saying always loading device drivers. And the thing is, once this loading has finished, um, it, it asks me for a password. But not the password is the problem. The problem is that I cannot enter the password. So I haven't researched anything yet um, about this operating system or any kind of problem that, well, what's wrong with it. But as you can see, it just doesn't do anything. And that is all. Um, and I have absolutely no clue what's going on with this or how I can fix that. And it's got a solid state drive of the unbelievable size of 2 gigabytes, and that's why it runs Windows CE. And also because this is having an ARM processor which doesn't support Windows XP or Vista or so, but I don't know about the specifications of this anyway. Um, it's called a model x6 minus 7v i will look this up on the internet and see if i can find something it's having an 800 megahertz arm processor and uh 256 megabytes of ram an 800 by 480 resolution display so obviously this is chinese and you know complete garbage but i will fix this because this thing only costs 80 bucks if you buy it brand new so, <laughs> uh, it's a pretty affordable laptop. I will find out how to fix this because I've got absolutely no idea what to do. I've pressed that reset switch already a thousand times. I don't know, it's nothing happening. So I will just look something up and uh, we'll see you when I find a result or so. <laughs> and I found out a little more about this thing. Um, you need actually, um, in installation media to reset this thing because that reset on the here is just for Windows CE itself and you know the preferences except the password and so I don't know what failed with the keyboard or so uh, but uh, I need an external installation media and that will be in the form of an SD card need to download Windows CE and uh, well install it I looked inside uh, I've seen on the internet that People say these, uh, or some of these have backup batteries. I didn't find any, I just saw the battery itself, and I was just like pff, laid in there. It's not held securely by anything except this plate here. So if I miss that, it probably will have a problem, I guess. But well, it's secure with screws anyway. So I, I took this whole thing apart, didn't show a video. It's not so unbelievable, it's just looking like you know, a computer in the inside. It's not so crazy. Um, so I will download Windows C, put it on um well SD card and I guess then we'll get started if that thing actually boots off of it. Later uh had to do something in the meantime. I'm currently formatting an uh well SD card here. I also downloaded Windows C which is here and um that is a dot dot rar or R I A R 
Rawr. I don't know how to say that. It kind of sounds stupid in English. Well, and we get a script folder, and there's a .exe in there, so I believe that will just execute once you boot it up. I'm still not sure if that actually, you know, detects it and just automatically boots off of the uh, SD card and not, you know, the internal one. So if not, I have no idea. Must research even more, but I'm currently formatting it completely and, uh, well... Copy it over and see if it does something, and if not, uh, well, then not. Okay, so this is very, very shit at the moment. Um, nothing that I tried worked um, somewhat. Um, this was all a waste of time. Um, I've tried different SD cards, nothing is going to boot off of this thing. I have absolutely no idea what's wrong with this. Um, so I read on the internet that if you unplug the battery of it uh, for a couple of hours, um, the system will run down and, you know, uh, forget everything. Absolutely no idea if that is the case. I've never done something like that before. Usually, I plug USBs or whatever SD card in the computers and they boot off of it and I've got a BIOS and this hasn't got any kind of BIOS. I cannot get into this damn BIOS. I have absolutely no idea how. For a couple of hours I will let this sit and see if that works or well probably not <laughs> but well hope the best. Wish for the for, wish for a wonder. <laughs>
Windows CE device, yeah. Okay. Should rename that to Netbook. Yeah, no okay. Why is that okay on the on the top there? I will just quickly get a little uh well this thing set up and remove that shit here. And uh, well then uh let's see what we can do with this thing. So I've gotten to know it's a little better the system and uh it's kind of the Windows CE this is kind of like a mix between Windows two thousand XP and 7 Like all of these widgets here. These are like Windows 7 or Vista and also this battery icon But all the the icons on the desktop all the shortcuts are like Windows XP and The whole thing on here the taskbar is like Windows 2000 and the UI like the The window border is like Windows XP which you can see here uh, So I don't know when the latest uh, update for Windows CE was out there. I have no idea about this. Um, I'm just happy that it runs now. Um, and well, it comes with this very shitty version of Internet Explorer. It's look at that. That is really not good. 6.0. So I mean, sure, it's it's like using an old computer on the internet. It's very slow. Um, it's very buggy as well. I can't format that. And search for something because that is the only thing that will actually works fine and there you go it loads you very slowly very junky pretty much there are often these security alerts uh, on the standard version of Internet Explorer on the desktop version I believe there's a way to shut this off but I didn't find any way for well, blocking these and as you can see this is ugh, very sluggish. So I don't know if there's a flash plugin here but HTML5 and stuff like that I have no idea if there's a flash plugin for Windows C but like HTML5 again or newer websites they suck on here so like, again like YouTube is blah unusable um, so we'll just get out of here so this also comes, it is pretty fast when you use it like that because it's got an SSD. Um, this has got um, some programs that it comes with. It comes with WinRAR, a beta version, portable. Where, well, you can unzip stuff like that. And again, very basic. Um, it's got a thing that turns on and off the Wi-Fi. So you can also do it here, but also here, so it's called Wi-Fi Power. And I can turn it on and off, which you know saves your life, battery life if you turn it off. Um, desktop gadgets, that are these things. Berlin this is the the nearest location I can get it to, and that is well pretty far from where I live, so I'll probably remove that because well that's so useless. Um, the the calendar is fine, and also the clock and this battery status thing. This is nice. Um, and the battery lasts pretty long, it's like, right, like right now it's fully charged. Here it shows you the Wi-Fi, I don't know if that's full signal or no signal. <laughs> Let me see. I think it's full signal. Um, so this comes with YouTube. It's like an app for Windows CE for YouTube. But I cannot get it to work. It always says this. Network timeout or max page. So you can also like open up a file and play it in here if you want to play a video. But there's also something that will test that already for you. But not don't believe you can just play videos like that because you have to open it up annoying in well Windows Media Player. As you can see. And it also comes with media player. And uh, well, again, very basic. Showed you that already, but there's a different one on here as well. Um, recorder. I don't know what that is. Audio recorder. I I don't even know if that's got a microphone. Let's just check. That is a test.
Ugh. What a shitty microphone. Deep. And, uh, well, so that we already saved the file, that's what the Explorer looks like. It's kind of with the, like, window border cut off. Looks pretty familiar. And there's the thing I saved, I can play that now in Media Player. So I don't know if that's the microphone or the speakers, but I think that's the microphone. Uh, so we'll just delete that. Yes. And it's deleted. So the control panel looks very much like Windows XP. Um, so, you know, C panel, pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. That's, I believe, another media player. Kind of looks the new like the new media player. <laughs> I'm gonna try out some stuff if I have time. I don't really have a lot of time, um, so anymore. So just being a little uh, netbook. I'll see if there's more software. And uh, well, that's had that has been it for that video. And in the end, it actually turned out that HC card worked. Just the image of the operating system not so. I don't know if you really want one of those. I mean, you can do email, fine, I believe, but the rest is like total blah. Oh yeah, I forget. I've got to show you this here. This, this has got also an office. If you could call it like that, this is a very basic writer. I mean, it gets the job done if you really need to um, do something. I mean, on the go or so, or you not know, write a script or so. I mean, that is fine. That is okay. I mean, you can't do it in a smartphone anymore as well. Maybe fancier you know, tables and stuff like that, but I mean, that's pretty basic, but it works. And I don't know what that is, presentations. Uh, it always wants me to enter inf information. Uh, or sorry, the, the other one, the text maker, but this one, I haven't tried that out yet. It looks like the PowerPoint. Oh, damn. I don't see a reason why you would make a presentation this anyway because this doesn't even have a video out port and uh, well at least it's there just play it for God's sake the trackpad is not nice to use yeah I'd rather use a mouse oh it doesn't even show the, the, the status bar here or the task bar I mean that's alright yeah it's a very crappy operating system very very crap and I don't know how to get out of here just close it like that. Close. No. All right. So there's even a reader on it. That's good. So I can write. Uh, write not read PDFs. And there's also Excel on here, which, well, again, very basic. And the file thing is on the bottom for some reason. It's like a really weird way of working. Um. So yeah, this is this has been it. I uh, would never use that thing. Uh, I will ask my friend if he's alright with this operating system, or if I should install like Android or so, because I could imagine this would be so much more useful since well, Android is made for smaller screens and well, it just behaves a lot better on slow hardware like this, and has got more software support than Windows CE. But for now, this has been it. I fixed it, it works, and uh, I mean, yeah, if you really want for 80 bucks a fully working computer, you cannot get wrong, because I cannot say, I mean, I don't like it, it's very cheap and crappy, but if you want a fully working computer for the lowest price possible, you can get one of those. So, well, I don't know how long they're going to last, but <laughs> right now it's working. So, thank you for watching.